elements that were in the proposal were already covered in the capital plan. Um, he asked that uh, what we were willing to participate as a commission. I said that I believe, based on our conversations at the previous meeting, that the commission would be willing to commit um, five thousand uh, dollars to the total of twenty-five thousand, so that the city would provide twenty thousand out of general fund, five thousand from the account of the. Uh, of the commission. So that is um, the action that we are here to approve today. The mayor will present to council on Thursday. Judy and I will certainly intend to um, um, attend the, the council meeting so that we can uh, basically indicate that this particular grant proposal is part of a larger process of um, updating and renewing the self-evaluation and transition plan. So are there any questions before we proceed to a, a motion on this? Any additional information? Do you need a motion? The mayor was uh, very amenable. Yes, the chair will entertain a motion to approve an expenditure of $5,000 uh, from our account to participate in the $25,000 planning fee uh, for the grant um, awarded by the Massachusetts Office on Disability. So moved. Seconded. I third it. <laughs> all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. How terrific. I think I want once again to say um, our real appreciation to Wayne for the work that he did in, uh, in actually submitting the technical dimensions of the proposal and that, uh, that whatever minor difference we had in recollection is, uh, um, is, uh, is nothing at all in the scale of things he did. He did good work as he continues to do for the city. Do you have a, a time frame of when uh, the work might start to be tangible results? The money has to be extended by June 30th. That was the concern about the process yeah. to be moved because they have to put together a bid package. Right. It has to be done through architectural services. Yeah. Um, there has to be the open process of bidding. Yeah. And then the work will have to be completed by June 30th. Wow. So that's why yeah, there's a sense of urgency. Yeah. Of Yo, that's a lot. Hello, Hannah. That's a lot to happen. That's in a, a relatively short That's a lot. Time. This is sure. Yeah, so which is why we needed to get this resolved as quickly as possible. Right, absolutely. So it will be approved on, uh, on it will go before council, and of course it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be approved. It's essentially, as the mayor described it, oh, this is um, essentially a found quarter of a million dollars right. for the city. Tremendous yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of good they can do, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's work that the city does need to do, so it's nice to have. Money. Right. Right. Just to uh, just be sure, our uh, our next official meeting. I just want to make sure. Is that December twentieth at five? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, February twenty February twentieth at five. Is that guy going to be a record? Uh, does that sound right? That returns to our usual third third third. Yeah, the third <laughs> Tuesday at five. So February twentieth. That, that was my understanding. Okay. If we did the exception only for the... Right. For this, yeah. Because yeah. this was an urgency I did that on the last two meetings. Um, Linda also mentioned today there's been a contact from the Massachusetts Office on Disability and a request for an update on the progress of the self-evaluation transition plan update. Now, I'll be happy to do that on on Friday. Um, a couple of related things. As you know, among the priorities in our first round of surveying, we had said the shelter at the Vocational Technical High School. Um, Greenfield Community College has moved the nursing program um, to a renovated space uh, behind the Vocational Technical High School. Um, just this morning, I spoke with Jeff Marks, who's the facility director for GCC, and he said, why don't we get together and have lunch and let's meet at the Vogue Tech High School and we will talk with the superintendent 
and the chair of the uh, of the board of trustees because we certainly have among the priorities identified in our survey is that's the location of the shelter and so um, over certainly the next few years as we clarify all of our priorities that that will come in very high and i thought it would be good to take the opportunity to actually meet with the gcc facilities director he's a great guy and the parent of a a youngster with a disability and we will meet with him so that's uh that's our news on on this and Piano really quickly. We did have a vote and the quorum was here. This was our only agenda item. So um, if you have any questions, um, you can ask Chris now. So open. remember, last time we got the, the word from Wayne that we had been awarded um, 200 up to $250,000 mm -hmm. out of the um, this program that the Mass Office and Disability has done in the previous fiscal year we had the small planning grant and now we applied for a second time and to our surprise and I have mixed feelings that, that we were able to secure one quarter of the dollars available in the state my concern is does that mean that other municipalities have not been competitive or not been a, been applying for this money I, I that's a question I will ask on Friday when I, I update them I'll ask them to update update us on, on what's happening statewide on this program however it is very nice for us yeah. Nice. Nice for us. We can only run our own city and whatever right. yeah. it is due, that's their business. I mean, we can't be yeah. yeah, we're not the commission of the state, we're the commission of the I guess one related bit of information, because we also, of course, had said that part of the discussion with the mayor was that as um, as uh, Linda will be um, leaving her position in March, we also want to have the discussion about the, the potential long-term restructuring of the um, ADA coordinator's position. The mayor said, yes, we'll have that discussion, but right now I'm really concerned about moving forward on the hiring process, and uh, we certainly uh, understand that, and it will continue to be a, a matter to discuss, so not trying to pile the ADA coordinator's position on a position which is more than full-time already. But no resolution on that one, just to be discussed. Hello. Hello. My name is Ron. I'm a friend of Abbott's. Very good. Welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. So Hannah, do you have any questions about, about about that one, or does anyone else have any questions about the discussions we had at the, at the last meeting? Um, so the money was allocated. Um, it was voted that we will be allocating the money. And, um, Yes. The money is going to be applied to do what for City Hall? This is the, the planning, the development of the design package by a licensed architectural firm that will um, guide the renovations to take place uh, basically in the periphery of City Hall and between City Hall and the annex at the rear. Uh, the scope of the grant also included the, uh, uh, the lack of compliant handrails on the descending site stairs, uh, the lack of um, a lighting that illuminates the walkway as you come from, um, you know, as you basically come from the major sidewalks towards council chamber. The scope of the of work will exceed the $250,000. So as they plan, there will be more discussions about, there'll have to be some decisions about how much can be done under that $250,000 um, allocation. So Linda also mentioned that the new president of the city council, um, Ryan, uh, expressed interest in, in meeting with us at some point and that we, uh, um, we really talk about how we're gonna uh, proceed um, working with the council and, and working with the administration. 
in the devotion to uh, the I think we have the uh, the five thousand. Right, so. right, right. But is there anything else we need to cover now, Chris? I don't think we need any other motion, so that's just all informational. So um, um, I would encourage anyone who has not attended council who might like to to do that. Those Thursday night uh, meetings they are interesting. There's always a period for public comment at the beginning. I've gone to three of them now, and they actually put a clock on you, so you know you. you got a limit of three minutes, and it's counting off in front of you. I lost on my last issue. Uh, it's important the uh, safety cameras downtown. I, I would I would love to say thank you um, to to both um, Judith and and Chris for the amount of commitment that they have put into this. I mean, literally, if we did not do the transition plan, this $250,000 wouldn't be ours. So, um, thank you. I mean, it's been, it's been um, a really an incredible learning experience. It's been our pleasure. It's been our pleasure. And right. with, of course, the great benefit of also having our our, our wonderful work study student who was yeah. with us for the yeah. semester. She's now in Geneva. She's now in Geneva. Yeah. 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 So, so should uh, I, I move to adjourn the meeting? Oh, no. No? We're, we're to, to discuss the. Oh, uh, oh at the meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the one other is um, if you would basically introduce the, the discussion that you've had about uh, possibly doing some additional work on it. <laughs> I don't know if this is really fair. We haven't. This is literally my calling um, Claudia up about two hours ago and just saying, you want to come to, to just have a ba basic discussion? Um, and, and I didn't know it was going to follow the, the meeting format. I, th I thought we would just have a very informal chat is what I'm thinking. So we could actually adjourn the meeting and we then can. just continue. So um, yeah. um, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 A